Depression doesn't discriminate. Mental illness won't take anyone. South Korea is known for their high suicide rate, but nothing can prepare the world for the death of the K-pop group Shiny's main vocalist, Kim jong Hyuk. If you're not familiar with K-pop, you may just wonder, who is he? To his fans, he was Jong, Dinosaur, and even Bling Bling jong Hoon. But in reality, he was so much more. Today, not only will I talk about jong Hoon's music career, but I'll talk about his advocacy for mental health and also his skill as an author. First, let's look at his music career. The 27-year-old was one of the beautiful, well-drilled entertainers that made K-pop so thrilling. According to the news outlet Sompi, FM Entertainment, the company John Hoon was under, issued a statement stating that John Hoon was one of the best artists. He loved music more than anyone else, and he always gave his best during his performances. Not only was John Hoon a brilliant artist, but he was also the first artist under FM to have a significant part in organizing, composing, and producing an album. Kim Dahi of the Korea Times listed John Hoon as one of the four musicians who managed to distinguish themselves in the mass-produced um, idol industry. John Hoon was considered to have a unique musical style, and he was praised for his writing and composing of his solo tracks. Now, John Hoon was a brilliant composer, and he had a voice that you never forget, but he was also battling a demon that we know as depression. John Hoon was not tight with in, about his depression. In fact, he was very vocal about it, which was pretty much unheard of and is taboo in the K-pop industry. He often spoke about sadness and loneliness on his radio station, Blue Night. But he also told his listeners that it was okay to feel sad. One of my favorite quotes of his is this. It is okay to feel lost. It is okay not to reach that final goal. You may create something beautiful out of feeling lost, or make something out of the emotions you feel. I think it should be your judgment. You shouldn't rely on someone else to bring you satisfaction in your life. I hope that you don't feel too anxious about feeling lost in your life. Not only was John Hoon a vocalist and an advocate, but he was also an author. In 2015, John Hoon released a novel titled Skeleton Flower, Things That Have Been Released and Set Free, which contained fictional short stories about behind the songs of his first album, Faith, and also songs that he had written for Shiny. The book also talks about his songwriting process and his experiences. It took him two years to write this, and I'm sure that if he was still alive, he would have graced his fans with another book. So his, who is Kim Jong-un? He is a singer, songwriter, radio host, producer, but he is still much more than that. To me, a loyal fan of his for nine years, he was an inspiration. He was the one member who smiled the most, laughed the most, and was the literal embodiment of sunshine on a cloudy day. To this day, I still ask, why did he choose to end his life? But it truly shows that you never know who could be suffering. Our fandom is known as Shiny World, and we often refer to our members as our stars. Now, John Hoon is a real one, and all that is left is his memories and his songs. John Hoon's last wish was to be told that he did well. And John Hoon, my shining star, you did. You did very well. Now, do we have any questions? Yeah, how did he, uh, how did he kill um, Carbon monoxide poisoning. In um, Korea, they have, their stoves are different than ours, mm -hmm. so he left sticks on the burning, and that's how he passed. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite song by him? Um, honestly, he released an album that, well, it got released posthumously, and it's a song called Shining, which is like really poppy, but it's like the last music video you see of him being super happy. So it kind of has sentimental value. Any more questions? Did, how, for what is the range of his music? Um, Shinies actually started off as a rap group um, before they were supposed to debut. And then they got past the song where they were like, well, you guys can either learn how to sing or you could just stay as a rap group. And they chose to learn how to sing. So he can sing and he can rap very well. He kind of has music for everyone. He does ballads as well. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Did you have a question? What range of nasal? Oh, 
Then Chinese, they, Chinese come to America before. Mm -hmm. They actually performed in Dallas last year before he passed. So, all right, thank you.